Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay. More on that later. What's up everybody, I'm Charlie with Modern Hobbyist, and today I'm gonna to show you how I made this seven inch field monitor for my camera for only about $40. Let's get started. So obviously my camera already has a display on it and it's really pretty nice. It flips out so I can do it from pretty much any angle and I actually use it all the time. But a while back I upgraded my teleprompter and now I can no longer see my camera's display from behind it. So I've been considering getting a field monitor so I can see how good or bad I look on camera. And you know me, I'm not gonna pay full price for one when I know I can build a worse one for less money. And since I know not everyone has a 3D printer, I'm going to start by trying to make it with simpler tools and then I'll come back and polish it up with a nice 3D printed case. So to get started, what do I need? Well, for the absolute bare minimum, I'll need a display, a cable to connect the display to my camera, and a power supply of some sort. For the display, I chose to go with a seven inch capacitive touch HDMI display that I got off AliExpress for $20 and about $10 in shipping. Now seven inches might be a little bit overkill for a field monitor. To be honest, five inches is plenty and it's all about how you use it anyways. That's what she said. <laughs> to power it, I could just grab a USB power supply that can output at least 2.4 amps, but I don't wanna be tied to a wall outlet. So instead I picked up a set of battery packs on Amazon for about $7 each. Now, the last thing that I picked up was an HDMI to mini HDMI adapter cable that's coiled so I don't have a bunch of extra cable hanging down from the side of my display. But your camera might have a different output connection, so get whatever works for you. And in the interest of saving money, I decided to scavenge as many of the materials as I can from my shop to start. So let's see if we can build this thing. All right, version one is done, and I ended up using some quarter inch plywood for the main frame, and I bolted a GoPro mount adapter to it so I can attach it to my teleprompter. To power it, I just ended up double-sided taping a battery pack to the back of it, which doesn't look great, but I could just take that off and use a wall adapter to simplify it a little bit. All in all, for a super cheap DIY field monitor, this is perfect. I hate it. Nah, you know me, I was never gonna be happy unless I found a way to work 3D printing into this project, so let's go back and give it an upgrade.
All right, that is much better. Now I have a super sleek, battery powered field monitor for my camera, and the best part is, it matches my new Crocs. It might not have all the fancy features of an off the shelf one, but for the price, I'm pretty happy. But before I call this project complete, I need to get an idea of how long these super cheap battery packs will last. So while that's running, I wanted to take a minute and talk about today's video sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a small volume production and prototyping company that specializes in custom circuit boards. So using their online tool, you can upload a Gerber file and get 10 custom PCBs for only $5. And if you don't have any need for a custom circuit board, then PCBWay can still help you out as they also offer 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding services. PCBWay is this channel's longest running sponsor and I have had nothing but great experiences with them. So make sure to check out PCBWay using the link in the description so you can get $5 off your first order and start your project off the right way. Huge thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. All right, so this thing lasted like five hours, which is actually kind of insane. I was expecting something more like an hour and a half. So I'm super happy with this time. Now, granted, this was just showing a display of a timer and not actual camera footage, but it should be good enough for what I need. Now, let's go back and talk about how much this thing cost to build. For the full version, I ended up spending a total of $48.47, including shipping. And that was a combination of AliExpress and Amazon items. Ultimately, I'm pretty happy with that price. It definitely isn't fancy, but for less than half the price of the cheapest seven inch one on Amazon, I can't complain. Plus, if you look closely at the cheapest ones on Amazon, they don't come with a battery or a power supply, so really they cost even more. In the end, this DIY field monitor definitely doesn't have any of the fancy features that an off the shelf one does, but it looks pretty decent and it achieves its purpose. Plus, you don't have to use it as a field monitor. It would work just as well as a little portable monitor for work or a TV for your car but I may be biased, so make sure to let me know what you think of this project down in the comments and check out the description for a link to all the parts I used to build it. Otherwise, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.